welcome to the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wampa, joined now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys, let's talk about Wednesday first. Ugh. We have to. Was that a wake-up call for the team? I hope so. Uh, you, you know, a couple things could have happened with that. We slept through the first 45 minutes of the game, and by the time we started to play, it was too late to really – rally to 11 goals or 10 goals or whatever it was i think we did put four or five goals in in about four minutes Mm -hmm. so we're capable of doing so much um thursday's practice i didn't know what i would see would i see a defeated group or would i see a group who's ready to work hard and and make some changes and when we walked out onto the field on thursday uh we had a great practice i think we learned from a lot of our mistakes and um you know, we fixed some of the scoring issues that we had and tried to really put a focus on uh, limiting our turnovers. And, you know, here we go. We head into Saturday's game. We have so very few turnovers and some balanced scoring and mm-hmm. um, certainly a, a high total of goals, which makes me happy. You mentioned that Thursday practice where my office is. I have the luxury of watching almost every team practice. It seemed like the group was determined out yes. there, and yes. they showed it on Saturday yeah. with a balanced attack. And how pleased were you with that performance? I am very pleased. I, you know, I think we're doing some really nice things. I want to start bringing that kind of performance and that kind of push for fast break goals into practice. Uh, we need to challenge our defense more on a day-to-day basis. If we can start doing that on a regular basis, I think that we can really turn this team around, turn the season around, mm-hmm. and uh, get to that winning and winning side of the record faster. Um, I, you know, they're a hard-working group, and, and they're led by some seniors who want – you know they don't want to leave their senior year with a losing record. They want, they want to win. Mm-hmm. So um, I think we've got a good combination that will get us through this last month of the season. Yeah, you know, I wanted to talk about that senior group. Each yes. one of them gets a goal on Saturday, yes. which, of course, was uh, senior day. Right. Just talk a little bit about that senior class as you were, um, how determined they are for this year. Well, you know, I think that they um, they absolutely love to go to goal. We have a senior class that is that is you know four of our or I think it's four of our five attackers mm-hmm. are seniors. Um, they're they're well over sixty five percent of all of our point total, I believe, and maybe even our goal total as well. I'm not sure. I haven't checked in in a week or two. So they're willing to get the job done. Uh, we need to continue making changes in, in how hard we fight back for the ball when we lose it we again have to cut down on the number of turnovers but sometimes I think those turnovers Joe come from a they want to do so much Mm -hmm. they're so thrilled to go for that pinpoint thread the needle pass and they're and and it all comes from a really great place and and that as a coach makes me proud this group of seniors on attack They need to start making really great decisions now that it's April and realize what they're capable of and when to push it and Mm -hmm. and when to hold possession. If we could get that down, that controlling the clock down, which we've been working a lot on this past week, if we can get that down, I I think that we're going to be a really tough foe heading into the conference playoffs. I would agree to that uh, entirely. You know, mm-hmm. it seemed like the clears that you guys were able to accomplish on Saturday, mm-hmm. you guys really wore them down, mm-hmm. really patient, worked the box like you emphasized sure. after the Messiah game, sure. and it, it worked out for you guys. Yes, and and they want they want to do the right thing with that, and I think that we have two or three people that want to put it on their, on their shoulders, and it's got to be a team effort. Everybody's got to catch and throw well. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got to attack the goal, whether you are Mac coming out of the cage or the lowest defender on the field when you get the ball the entire opponent's team should think you're going to goal Mm -hmm. and that's how things open and we got away from that in the messiah game and the lebanon valley game we would catch and kind of look to be a passer instead of look to be an attacker um as and i think we're 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 turning the corner on that uh, as a group as you guys get ready for this week you know Mm -hmm. again no rest for the weary right two more conference games you guys head to widener and then host hood on saturday how important are these games for you they're very important we actually have i think we have hood on wednesday and and widener on saturday but that's okay it's monday morning and that's that totally makes sense um I think we'll be able to really use Hood as a gauge on how to uh, successfully run full offensive uh, possessions. Mm -hmm. So I think that we're really looking forward to that. You know, Widener had a great game. I think Widener lost by one or two to to Lebanon Valley this week so or on Saturday. So they're going to be every bit of a test that we hope that they will be. So we're looking forward to that and hoping it's a nice, gorgeous day. It is our junior day. So Mm -hmm. we have a lot of junior recruits coming, which is amazing. And we want to kind of show off for them at home. 
Well, hopefully you do guys uh, yeah. accomplish that. Yes, thank you. And good luck this week. Thank you. She's Kathy Rayleigh. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Rayleigh Show. Mm-hmm.